Hi guys, we are doing the running record for um, I Survived uh, the Battle of D-Day. Of D -Day. <laughs> uh, the date is 1944. It is right there. All right, so open up the book. And you're going to just do chapter one, okay? Sure. No, we're just doing the book. What you're doing is you're going to read everything from chapter one, and then I'm going to record, and then we're going to answer some questions afterwards. Are you ready? Just yes. Try your best. Chapter 1. Tuesday, June 6th, 1944. The cliffs, the cliffs above Omaha Beach, um, Omaha Beach, Normandy, France, around 1 a.m. 11-year-old Paul Colbert was running for his life. It was D-Day, one of the most bloodiest days of the of World War II. More than 150,000 soldiers from America, England, and Canada were invading France. They had sailed across the sea on 7,000 ships, creeping through the dark of night. Their mission, to free France from the brutal grip of Nazi Germany. It was time to crush the Nazis and end the war. In the minutes before the ships arrived, Paul was crouched on the cliff above the beach. He was trying to escape before the battle began. But now, warplanes were zooming through the sky. And suddenly, there was a shattering blast. Kaboom! Paul, lo Paul looked up in horror and saw that a plane was now in flames, and it was in a fiery death spiral, heading right for him. Paul ran wildly as the burning plane fell from the sky, the air filled with gagging stench, the gagging stench of burning metal and melting rubber. The engine screamed and moaned, it sounded, like a giant beast bellowing in pain. No matter where Paul went, the dying plane seemed to be following him like it wanted Paul to die too. And then smack, something hit Paul on the head. His skull seemed to explode in pain. Paul fell to the ground as the burning wreckage came crashing down. Four for four long years, Paul had been praying for this day, for the world, for the war to end, for France to be, to be finally free from the Nazis. But now, it seemed this would this day would be his last. Okay, good job reading. All right, so now we're gonna do a couple questions on it. When did this book, when did it take place? 1944. Okay. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. And where, what What kind of fight was going on? Uh, D-Day. D-Day. Okay. <clears throat> Do you think during this time that Paul lives um, during a dangerous time? Yeah. Why? Because the Nazis invaded them and the soldiers were very strict and the and they basically took over the whole land. Okay. 150 soldiers they talked about from America, England, and Canada were on a mission. Yeah. Do you know what their mission was? They were going to free the Nazis from, no, the, France from the Nazis. So they what were. What were they going to do in the book? They were going to invade France so that the Nazis would leave. And it was very hard because they had Neville Warfers. So who were they gonna free? Free France. Okay, and crush the who? Nazis. And where were they gonna end? World War II. World War II. And yeah. D-Day, mm -hmm. basically. A tragedy occurred and there was a blast, kaboom, like you said, that was really good in your reading. What happened when that kaboom went on? Um, 
a plane got shot down and it was going in a fiery test well very good and can you recall how many ships it took to carry all the soldiers hundred mm, thousand seven thousand seven thousand very good yep and sorry and think about the character paul he's 11 you're 10. why do you think he would have made a good friend because he's adventurous and he just likes his mom and he calls her mom and M-A-M-A-N just for your information. All right. Thank you. That was awesome. Thanks, guys. And I forgot to tell you, I'm Ashley and that's Jacob. Bye.